Hello and welcome to the status report overview of our funds in August. Let's start by taking a look at performance. Our equity funds Skagen Global and Contiki had a difficult month of August and both funds underperformed their respective benchmarks. Skagen Global and Contiki are also lagging their benchmarks on a year-to-date basis. Now let's take a look at the broader equity market performance during August. Latin American markets topped the performance list, including Argentina, Brazil and Mexico. Among the worst performers were Ukraine, Russia and Pakistan as a result of ongoing political unrest in these countries. Equity investors continued to favour emerging markets with net inflows of 10.8 billion US dollars during August. In contrast, investors pulled out net 6.9 billion US dollars from developed market equities during the same period. The recent trend reflects increasing investor confidence in emerging markets and also growth prospects from policy reforms as well as a significant shift away from the negative sentiment earlier this spring. Next, the main drivers of the fund's performance during month. For Skagen Global, Bonresul was the best contributor to absolute performance in August. Its share price was up 36% in local currency. The Brazilian bank benefited from an air of change in the country, where a market-friendly candidate could win the presidential elections in October. This would put Brazil on the map among nations that are implementing significant reforms following in India's footsteps. Samsung Electronics was the biggest detractor as its share price fell 5% in local currency. The Korean company announced weak second quarter results on handset handset inventory charges, which mean a downward revision to 2014 estimates. Banrizul was also the best performer for Skagen Kontiki in August, Mahindra and Mahindra was the second largest contributor as the Indian auto manufacturer delivered good first quarter results in a sluggish environment. Hyundai Motor was the largest detractor. The Korean car manufacturer announced weak August sales, partly as a result of fewer working days at Korean plants due to the timing of the summer holiday and a partial strike. Now, let's move on to some of the portfolio activity during August, and it was a quiet month for companies entering and exiting our funds. For Skagen Global, the German engine manufacturer Deutz was added to the portfolio in August. Its share price has been weak recently due to slow order intake in Q2. We are looking for expansion in EBIT margins due to efficiency programs and new product generations. In the meantime, RCL was sold out of Skagen Global. After initiating the position at a price around $25 in 2012, we have seen the stock recover nicely as margins have picked up. With the stock now trading above $60, we no longer consider the company undervalued and therefore decided to take profit and exit the position. Oracle was also sold out of Skagen Global in August. The share price has done very well this year without any change in underlying fundamentals and has now hit our fair value target price. That's the highlights for August. Thank you for watching and we hope you enjoy the end of the summer. For more information, please visit the Skagen website.